Hi, welcome to Drawing Club. Today we're going to be drawing a shisa, a kind of lion dog. Okay, so here is our shisa. And today uh, you need your usual supplies. You'll need a pencil for drawing. You'll need an eraser in case you make any mistakes. You'll need a pencil sharpener. And you'll need a black pencil crayon or a black marker for outlining at the end. But as usual, I am going to use my gray marker just so it's easier for you guys to see what I'm drawing. Okay, so our shisa is going to start with an oval shape for its head. So I'm going to just make one big oval right here near the top of the page. Just like that. And for his eyes, he's got big kind of googly eyes. I'm going to draw two circles. One and two, just like that. And then for the pupils in his eyes, or the, the middle part of his eyes, I'm going to draw two smaller circles inside those bigger circles. And don't forget, if I'm drawing too fast for you, you can always pause the video to slow me down. So this uh, shisa has a kind of a pig nose. So I'm going to draw a kind of a, a curving line like that. And then to show his nose holes or his nostrils, I'm going to draw two little kind of bean shapes inside the nose, just like that. And this shisa has big eyebrows. So I'm going to draw one big eyebrow there on top of that eye and another big eyebrow on top of that eye. And for his ears, I'm going to draw two kind of triangle shapes. There's one and I'm going to draw the inside of his ear, which is going to be another smaller triangle shape inside. And I'll do the same on the other side of his head, a bigger triangle. And then inside it, a smaller triangle. Just like that. Now he's got a big wide open mouth. So I'm going to draw another big sort of an oval shape or like a giant bean shape just inside his face like that. And I'm going to draw another one around it to show that he has a, a lip. So I'm going to stop it there and just follow the same shape I drew before around the mouth and bring it down to there. And there's his lip. Now, Shisa also has big teeth, and this Shisa is yelling. And I'll talk a little bit more about what a Shisa is and where they come from a little bit later. But they've got these big square kind of, almost like marshmallow teeth. So I'm just going to draw one, two, three, four big teeth, but you can give them more teeth or less teeth if you want. And then another big kind of more sharp tooth at the end there. I should have made that tooth over there more sharp as well. So you know what, that's okay. I can just change the shape a little bit. And then when I go over it with my black marker, I can make it look better. And down here, I'm gonna give him three teeth in the middle along the bottom. And again, they're just kind of like squares with a little bit rounded corners. And then another sharp tooth on that side and another sharp tooth on that side. And that's all I need to do for his mouth. Now, he is a kind of a lion dog, which means he has um, like a lion's mane or that kind of long hair that's around a lion's face. So I'm just going to draw a shape to show 
his kind of beard parts. And another one there, like this. And a line there. And then one more of these curving shapes, like this. And one small one there to show that he has a kind of a beard. And when I color it, I'm going to add some lines uh, in there. But you know what? I'll draw them in right now. So I'm going to just put these little lines. But when I use my black marker to ink, I'm not going to ink over these mar lines. These are just to remind me that when I color it, I need to color this part a little bit darker. I'm going to do a couple of curving lines here. And just a few curving lines there. Okay. Now for his body, I'm going to just draw a kind of a little round body like that. And then I'm going to give him little round feet at the bottom. Just like that. And then for his arms, I'm going to draw two lines. And then those little kind of sausage fingers we've done before. He has a thumb, and then I'm going to give him three little sausage fingers. One, two, three, just like that. And a little bump to show the rest of his hand, just there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Two lines to show his arm. And then the top part, here's his thumb, like this, almost like a peanut. And then the little sausage fingers, just like that. And another little bump to show the bottom of his hand, just like that. And I'm going to give him some toes as well. I'm going to give him one toe there, and then another toe, just like that. I'm going to make another curving line here to show a toe, and then one more to show a toe like that. And that's the basic part of the drawing. Um, but you know what, I'm going to show also on my color version, I put some little lines here to show that this is also kind of hair, this eyebrow here, some little curving lines. I'm gonna put it here as well. So now I'm going to uh, use my black marker to outline over the top of this. So this is, you should have done this in pencil. Now you can use your black marker or black pencil crayon to outline it and make it really pop off the page. Okay, so I'm just gonna outline his eyes again. So this kind of um, creature, a shisa, comes from a place called Okinawa, which is now a part of Japan, but a long time ago it was uh, its, its own country. And these shisa, you can find them all over Okinawa, uh, on top of people's houses. And there's always two of them together. And I think you can see these two down here. Um, usually one, like this one, has the mouth open, and one has their mouth closed. And they are protectors. So they, if you put one on your house, it protects your house from any bad things that might happen. And the one that has the open mouth, like this one, he's kind of yelling, and he's scaring away any bad luck that might try to come into the house. And the other one with the mouth closed, and some people believe that the one with the mouth open is a boy and the one with the mouth closed is a girl, but some people believe the other, the opposite, that it's the other way. But anyway, the one that has the closed mouth, that one keeps all of your good luck inside your house. And when I lived in Japan and I was a teacher there, I usually went on my holidays to Okinawa and it became one of my favorite places in the world because it's very beautiful. It has beautiful beaches and blue skies and blue water and there are flowers everywhere, beautiful tropical flowers. And there are also butterflies and lots of other interesting insects. And insects are something that I'm very interested in. And 
The food there is very delicious and the people there are very friendly and kind. But I especially, when I was visiting there, fell in love with these shisa because I saw them everywhere. And I started to collect them because I found you could buy different kinds of shisa in the shops. And so I started to buy a little collection of shisas. And so when the video is finished, when I finish the drawing, I'll show you quickly some of my shisas in my collection. So for this part, I'm just outlining again what I drew before, but I'm going to make this a little bit blacker inside the mouth here, just to show that it's a bit darker in there. Just like this. And then again, I'm just going to outline. Oh, you know what? That's funny. I said I was going to fix my mistake over here and I forgot to fix my mistake. <laughs> I should have been paying attention instead of talking about Jesus. There we go. So if I could erase that, I would erase that, but I can't. But you know what? Mistakes are okay. That's something very important that my wife taught me because she is a teacher too. And she always tells her students that mistakes are okay. Mistakes are how we learn. So, okay, I'm going to do his little kind of lion beard next. Just like that. Okay, and then trace around his little body again. But I'm not going to trace around all my lines because I'm, the feet here are in front of his body there. So I'm just going to trace to there and trace along the bottom. And then again, trace around the foot like that and around to there. But I'm not going to trace over that part and trace over the hand. Fingers again. Okay, so I'm going to trace around like this. And then just do the last arm, trace over the thumb and those fingers. And there we go. That's all of the, oh, I'm just going to do one more thing right there. Okay, so I'm going to show you the color version again. So this is the color one. So I colored this Shisa um, a kind of a light orange. I used some blue. Those are those colors again that work well together, um, blue and orange. I gave him some purple in his mouth. Um, but of course you can color him any color you would like. And I'm just gonna quickly show you a couple of more of these shisas so you can see they're usually together, one open mouth and one closed mouth. And here's another two that are very cute. And here's another stuffy one that I've got. And I even have a tiny little paperweight set of shisas. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow.